So you've unboxed your brand new Artec TIG welder and you're keen to start welding. In this video, we're going to go through how you set up the machine using everything you received in the box. We'll begin with the torch. And before we plug this into the machine, we will first need to attach some consumables to the end of it. We'll quickly go through that now using the consumables we received in the box. I first take the collet body and screw this into the front of the torch. I then take my collet and drop this through the back of the torch and into the collet body. I then place my finger over the top to ensure it doesn't fall out. I then take my ceramic and screw this over the collet body. I then insert the freshly sharpened tungsten up through the ceramic into the collet body and through the collet. Whilst holding the tungsten in place, I then take the back cap and screw this to the back of the torch. This will then hold your tungsten in place and the torch is ready to be plugged into the machine. We line up the power plug with the negative socket found on the front of the machine. This is secured in place with a simple push and twist. We then take our gas hose and push this into the quick release fitting labelled gas outlet. We will then take the switch plug and line this up with the socket labelled control. It will only go in one way and will secure in place with the screw down locking collar. If you plan to use a foot pedal to control your amperage, plug this into the control socket rather than the torch. To attach the earth lead, line up the plug with the positive socket found on the front of the machine. Again, this fits in place with a simple push and a twist. Then take the included regulator and attach this to your argon gas bottle. Then take your gas hose and attach this to the regulator. Then take the other end of the gas hose and attach this to the gas inlet found on the back of the machine. With the machine switched on, we can now turn on the gas and set our flow rate. You'll notice there's a dial on the regulator labelled litres per minute. We want to set this around 9 litres per minute. To get a more accurate reading, we do suggest using a flow meter. It's worth noting that litres per minute may change depending on the cup size that you're using. If you're using a larger cup size, you may have to increase your litres per minute. So we fitted our consumables and plugged in our torch and earth lead. We've then attached our regulator and gas hose and then set the litres per minute. Our machine is now ready to start welding. If you have any questions on the Artec TIG welder or any of the machines in the Artec range, feel free to give us a call or drop us an email. Our trade counter is also open and demos are available on any of the machines in the range. We are also available on Facebook and Instagram.